Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here. And by show of hands, who has property around their area like this? Show of hands, show of hands. Are you raising your hand or are you scratching? You're scratching your head? Okay, all right. What's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here. And today we're gonna be doing a video about the DJI Mavic Air and the orbit mode. We're gonna go through some of the best settings that I have and show you what the orbit can actually do. Um, it's pretty cool, it's really fun, super simple, and with some editing tips and tricks, you can get it to look above and beyond what anybody else is doing right now. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, the very first thing you want to do after you take off with the Mavic Air and you are doing a point of interest or orbit, you're going to want to hover over your point of interest. You're going to hover over what you want the camera to be focused on. So at this point, don't worry about the altitude, right? So just get over above your object, your target, doesn't matter the altitude and I'll show you why here in a second. Hit apply and now you're going to build your radius. What your radius is, is how far out your Mavic Air is gonna circle around your target. At this point, you can navigate your altitude. Um, you can go lower, which is gonna present more of you know, more of a background or you can go higher which will present you know more of the target that you're wanting so if you don't want any background or if you want to limit the amount of background that you have you could just raise an altitude keeping focused on your target getting it fully in frame I think I like that I'm gonna go ahead and set it you have a return to home altitude go ahead and set that make sure that you don't have any obstacles in your way I'm just gonna go ahead and start this real quick okay you have to remember also that recording, the video recording does not start automatically. So you want to go ahead and you're going to want to hit that record button and then it's going to start its, you know, rotation. It's going to start its orbit. So point of interest, you have your radius and you have your altitude and it's giving you real time data there. And then below that you have a slider. This will allow you to speed up your orbit or slow it down or even reverse direction of your orbit. So right now we're going two miles an hour, which is the default. Let's go ahead and raise it up to five miles an hour. This is going to expedite the process and allow you to continue your orbit without going out and changing. Below that you have your time for lap, so it gives you 29 seconds for the estimated time that it will complete one orbit around or one point of interest cycle. You have the ability to pause it and towards POI. Point of interest is really fun, really cool for real estate jobs. If you have a house that's wide open and there's hardly any trees around it, you can point of interest. You can put the point above the roof line. Uh, center of the house and then you can move your radius further out to the front yard maybe even near the street and you can do a point of interest around the home it makes it nice neat easy and clean and the ability to edit it in post is nice and smooth you can do some really fun things like speed ramp which if you hang on to the end of this video we'll go over real quickly how i speed ramp and also how i post stuff on instagram after i speed ramp edit all of it and then i'll post to instagram so that's pretty cool in and of itself. This is a great feature that uh, the smaller drones are getting now. The Phantom has it, the Inspire 2 has it, and now the Mavic Air, which is awesome, which is amazing. Uh, I believe it came default with the Mavic Air. So as the technology progresses, DJI is incorporating more of their favorite features from the more expensive top of the line drones and they're bringing them down into their more affordable models. All right, now we're going to jump into our editing. What we're going to do is we're going to go grab our files that we want to edit. So let me go ahead and find that real quick. All right, I have my file that I want to edit. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down into my media bin. And there we see that we have it. All right, now I want to talk about my sequence. My sequence is set to 1080 by 1350 or a 4 by 5 ratio and that is for Instagram this is gonna to go to my Instagram account so this will fit perfectly into the screen and I'll also go over my export settings as well so it's gonna say that uh, my sequence is not the same for the video that I'm dragging on here I want to keep existing settings and now we get to edit the frame size we get to draw it down a little bit so this is going to take a little bit of playing around with as you can see but the end is all well so here we're going to figure out at what point we want to enter into the sequence so we're going to go when it is moving 
This is just editing the clip down, getting it ready to go. As you can see, it's gonna start going out of frame. We really don't want that, so what we're gonna wanna do is we are gonna try to frame it up as much as possible. This probably isn't the best clip to do since this is a rather long machine and I'm very close to it, but we will do our best. So let's go ahead and we will go quickly over the speed ramp because that's probably what you guys wanna see and then we will show you the finished product in the video. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is I want to show you the speed ramp and you've already seen the finished product at the beginning of the video. I'm not gonna go over how I did everything, but I will go over the speed ramp. So I'm gonna press P, I'm gonna select a point. I'm gonna zoom in on that point. Press V on the keyboard to get my to get my pointer icon. I'm gonna drag it up to a thousand. I'm gonna loop it around to where I want it to slow down and stop the ramp. I'm gonna press P, create another point, V, and drag it back down to 100%. And then once it's at 100%, I'm going to clip it down. So. We slowed it down, and that's gonna be the end of the sequence there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. As you're making changes, you want to nest the sequence. Um, I found this helpful as to reduce the amount of processing time that it takes. And right now, I am just extending out the speed ramp, and I'm going to highlight, and I'm gonna create that smooth flow that you see so instead of just jerking in and out of the ramp is going to speed up and speed down so boom all right and then it's going to go and slow down there and from here you can do i mean as much as you want spin it around boom and then it's gonna slow down to right there. So that's how I do the speed ramp. And in future videos, we'll go more into editing and polishing this off to make it look nice and pretty. All right, once we got our clip done, we're gonna do our in points and our out points, making sure that we're all getting the full clip in there. We're gonna go to File, Export Media, we're gonna check our settings. H.264, we're gonna do match source, which that will change. Nested sequence, this will be IG short speed romp. All right, we're gonna match source, head on down. Render at maximum depth. We want that selected, and that's gonna change our preset to custom, which is what I wanted to begin with. And we're gonna select VBR2 pass. And the best settings are anywhere from six to eight megabits per second. So we're gonna rest on the middle there. And I typically like to use maximum render quality. So we're gonna go ahead and export that, and that is all. All right, I hope you found this video helpful for the Mavic Air orbit mode. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash that like button if you liked the video, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I really appreciate y'all's support, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching.